Hello friends, welcome to Let's Tute. Our today's video is extremely important for those students who are going to appear for the CBSE 10th exam this year. So if you are one of them, then this is the good news for you all. CBSE has introduced two levels for mathematics paper. One is standard and second one is the basic. The students will have option to choose any one of them. So this is the great news for those students who are super afraid of math and were not able to clear the exam. Also for those who doesn't want to take mathematics in their higher studies. So these students will have option to opt for basic paper which is very much easy compared to the standard one. Most of you must have queries like what would be the exact difference between these two papers, will the syllabus be same, what is the paper pattern and so many other questions. So don't worry you guys, we will be answering all of your queries. Friends, standard level paper and basic level paper will be of the same syllabus. But the basic level paper will be easier and standard level paper will be the same. However, standard level paper assesses higher mathematical abilities than the basic level paper like problem solving skills and practical based questions which will be used in their higher studies. All students will be taught as per the standard level only. Please remember the selection has to be made only at the time of board exam form filling. So you don't have to worry a lot about this. Based on your entire year performance, you can choose the level of paper. So now let's understand the paper pattern in brief for both the type of papers. Please note that the paper pattern will be same for both the papers. You can download the sample question paper from the CBSE website or you can find the link in the description box given below. Now the question paper will consist of 40 questions divided into 4 sections A, B, C and D. The paper would be of 80 marks for which you will get 3 hours to complete. There will be no overall choices. However, an internal choice will be provided in two questions of section A. Similarly, in two questions for section B and three questions for section C. And similarly, an internal choice will be provided in three questions for section D. Now, what exactly does this internal choice mean? Suppose there is this question. We can see that this question is based on circles. Now for this question, there will be an option for circle chapter only. So the question will be from the same chapter. Due to this pattern, if a student wants to score full marks, they cannot leave any chapter in option. In section A, here you will get 20 questions for one mark each. These questions are divided in three different formats. First, you will get 10 multiple choice questions. Next five questions will be fill in the blanks. And from question 16 to question 20, you will have to solve the question for one mark with two to three steps. You will also get an internal choice in one question. Friends, here we would like to add one more important thing is that if you want to score well in this section, then definitely we would recommend you to visit our website where we are providing you more than 500 MCQs of all the courses for just rupees 49. You can also check your progress report and you will get a free trial for 3 days. Now coming back to the paper pattern, in section B, you will get 6 questions of 2 marks each and internal choice in 2 questions will be given like you can see here in question 22 and 24. Similarly in section C, you will get 8 questions of 3 marks each and in section D also, you will get 6 questions for 4 marks each. In both sections C and D, 
you will get three internal options. You can see here number of questions based on basic concepts is more in basic paper as compared to standard paper. Also, we can see here number of application based questions are less as compared to standard paper. Overall, we can say that direct questions are asked in basic paper as compared to standard paper. Friends, what if after giving exam you realize that you want to pursue something which requires standard level paper instead of basic level? So friends, don't you worry. Here you can appear for the compartment exam for the standard level paper after clearing the basic level paper. So that's it for today. I hope you found this video very useful. We wish you all the very best for your exams. Whichever level of paper you choose, make sure that you have given 100%. That's what matters the most. So friends, here we end our session. Please do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such CBSE news. Until next time, keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.